What's up everybody, 915 Mag here doing a video today and I'm going to be talking about my Marine Pure Block. Got this as a trade from my buddy Ray, a local reefer. I forgot what we traded but I got this block, put it in the 150 and it's the only thing that I can think of that might be giving my tank a problem. Been doing uh, pretty big water changes, had problems with the LPS. SPS is doing okay, Zoa is doing okay, but for some reason, since this is the only thing that I added, I'm thinking that maybe I had some aluminum leaching from the Mur Marine Pure block. There is a way that I can confirm this uh, by doing like those water tests that you can order from Marine Depot, but uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the source. Because this is all just my guess, you know, this is the latest thing that I did. I'm not saying that all Marine Pure blocks le leach uh, aluminum, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove it from my tank and see if anything changes. Uh, I think these blocks are good because they allow you to have less live rock, more open aquarium. They have tons of surface area and a great place for beneficial bacteria to go ahead and live reproduce and uh, benefit your aquarium now I don't know if it's just this brand but I think it's a chance so we're gonna go ahead and follow along and we'll see if it does make a difference so what I'm gonna do now besides just regular water changes I'm gonna hook up a reactor you know you can run carbon you can run GFO and things like that um, this reactor is the Aquamax medium Reactor, it's great. You just twist off the top. It's held on magnetically. Just plug it in and you can adjust the flow with a little slider on the pump. Now the kind of media that I'm going to be putting in this reactor is some media that can take out metals. Okay, It has GFO, has all carbon. It's going to clean out your water, polish it. But it says it can take out metals and this is the clear FX Pro, I got three of these things, and I'm gonna go ahead and use them in this reactor. I'm gonna clean out my stuff, and hopefully, this if there's any aluminum in the aquarium, that this re, uh, filter media can go ahead and remove that. It's not gonna work right away, um, and it's up to 60 gallons, so it's perfect for me because I have a 150. I don't want to overdo it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this show you what it looks like and we're going to go ahead and pit it in the reactor let's talk about the clear fx pro and what it does what kind of contents it uses the ingredients uh, just reading off of the site it says it uses granular granular activated carbon it's supposed to be the hardest carbon which soaks up and doesn't have a high ash rate it actually when i put it in my hand it was actually pretty clean normally you got to rinse them out uh and because if you don't, you'll have all this uh, residue on your hand. Um, it also has uh, phosphate removing resins. Um, this stuff uh, doesn't break down. And the whole filter media itself lasts in saltwater aquariums for up to four months. So that's pretty legit. It doesn't clump or clog. And I don't have to worry about any tumbling in here. I just throw it in a filter media reactor. And I'm good to go. So I'll let you guys know how it goes so far. Uh, hopefully it does good for sure it's going to clear up my uh, tank and most importantly what I'm more concerned about is the fact that it goes ahead and pulls out uh, harmful metals and that might be in my tank and which is why I'm thinking my LPS meaning my candy canes and my chalices have took a hit because of the metals can't prove it because I didn't do an ICP water test but right now I don't have time for that, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this filter media, and we'll see how it works. Um, the way I'm going to be able to tell is if by the way my corals react to the to how they react, because you know my candy canes have been like shrunken in, um, and my chalices have started to die. I did lose quite a bit, and I wish I would have thought about this sooner. But hey, it's a it's an aquarium hobby and we learn from each other hopefully you guys learn from me don't lose some of these nice corals like i have been doing 
Speaking of reactors, I'm going to go ahead and order another one, a smaller version of this from Aquamax, so that way I can use it on my 25-gallon Innovative Marine, uh, and I'll use it as needed, not running it full-time 24-7. Now, since we're talking about my 25-gallon Innovative Marine Aquarium that I picked up from Marine Depot, uh, the plan was the old system that I had. I had a had this acrylic tank on top, and below it I had the 40 gallon breeder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm still going to use this acrylic frag tank to grow frags and that way so maybe I can um, do a land a uh, rockscape for my innovative marine 25 gallon instead of it being just a frag tank. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down clean it up real good. I got this made by my buddy Matt who is a uh, uh, he's mainly uh, on the forums on reef to reef I wouldn't say YouTuber because I haven't really seen any videos, but he was the dude that had the awesome fish tank room, and he also had that big, uh, deep dimension aquarium with some nice, nice SPS. Well, anyways, he made this tank for me. We ended up training some uh, a lot of frags for it, and uh, I'm gonna get this cleaned up and ready to rock. So the plan is, my vision is that this is gonna be an all-in-one aquarium. You might be saying, how the heck are you gonna make this an all-in-one aquarium when it has three holes. It has three one-inch holes, plus on the side of it, of the overflow, it has a, another one-inch. I'm gonna tee it off, I'm gonna glue it into here, and into the bulkhead. I'm gonna use some of this uh, glue, and uh, of course the cleaner, and, and we're gonna get it started. And also on the bottom, I'm gonna cap it off with some uh, one-inch caps. I'm gonna glue it into the bulkheads. I'm going to, of course, do some leak tests, make sure it's good, and then we're going to go from there. Wouldn't you know it, the glue cement has uh, evaporated and turned into this uh, mess. So it's going to put my project on hold. I'm sorry about that, guys, but I'm going to have to go to the store. I'm going to go to Lowe's and pick up some more glue. And it sucks because you always have a ton of cleaner. But this stuff always, always seems to dehydrate, dry out, and uh, screw things up. Well, guys, catch you on the next video. Hope you guys are doing good. Make sure you like and subscribe, follow along this build, and we'll talk to you later.